Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandra.com. Uh, now, in my previous video, I showed you guys how to set up your brand new Chromecast. And right now in this video, I want to show you guys exactly everything it can do and what it can't do. Uh, specifically, all the cool features and how this whole streaming thing really works. So, uh, on your Android device, there's there's a couple ways to use it. You can use it via your Android device, your Android tablet, or you know smartphone. Or you can use it using your desktop computer, which is right down there. Uh, so first off, I just want to cover how you use it on your Android device. Uh, specifically, you can only use three apps at the moment that take advantage of Chromecast. That's Netflix, the Play Movies application, and then YouTube. So uh, it works uh, a little bit different than you might think. Uh, traditionally, I guess, to get videos from your Android device onto your television, you would have to plug in like an HDMI cord, a mini HDMI cord, plug it into your television, and that really wasn't battery effective, you know, streaming HD, full HD movies onto your Android device and then projecting those onto your te television uh, would pretty much destroy your battery. And not only that, you couldn't actually use your device while this was happening. So Google or Chromecast looks to kind of fix that by allowing you to offload all the streaming onto the little tiny Chromecast dongle while <laughs> dongle <laughs> while allowing you to still use your Android device as normal. So let me show you how this works. If I go into say play movies, you can see here I already have an app uh, movie up and running on here. Uh, if I were to click this little Chromecast button here, it's going to beam it or it's going to ask you which one you want to beam it to or which device because you can have multiple uh, Chromecasts. You probably will. I know I am shortly going to have one in every single room possible. But from there, it's going to kind of make this into a remote type function. You can see the movie's not streaming on my device, but it's full 1080p streaming onto my television via the Chromecast dongle. And there it is playing. Beautiful 5.1 surround sound. I mean, everything works and it's super loud. <laughs> uh, now let's get back out of here. So that's how it works. And oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep playing and I'll show you guys how you can still use your Android device for other things. So here I am, you know, my home screen. I can go in the Play Store, I can download apps, I can play a video game. I can do whatever I want while this video is streaming on the Chromecast dongle itself. Oh Pretty awesome. And the only thing you can see here, it's running in the background. It's telling me how far the movie is. I can pause it and I can disable it. I can do whatever I want. So that's how Chromecast works on your Android device. And YouTube is, is pretty much the same way, except it's a little bit more full featured in that you can actually set cues. So you could have, uh, say, this video here playing. Let me go ahead and Chromecast it. Or Google cast it, I guess, officially is what the, I guess the technology or service is called. Chromecast this video onto right, Google Cast it onto the Chromecast, if that makes any sense. There it is, streaming in full 1080p. And it's not playing on my device here, but I can click on another video, like so. And from here, I can uh, add that, to, I can play that instantly by clicking the play button, or I can add it to a queue. And then if I go to my queue, which will be down here in the bottom area, uh, I can't even access my queue. I think I broke it. Uh, normally, there's a little queue button down down there at the bottom. How about you just play instantly then? How do you like that? Okay, there you go. Now I go to my queue, and you can see here I have two videos. Now that'd be pretty uh, cool if you're using it for. Uh, and you can control the volume that comes out through the Chromecast. Pretty awesome. What is that? A kangaroo or like a shrew? I don't know. Uh, and you can control the volume, so uh, pretty cool. Really useful if you have like music videos, you have a bunch of friends come over and everyone's like, oh, did you see that new funny video? You're like, oh yeah, that one was cool. Oh, it reminds me of the time when that cat jumped off the building to that sale song. Uh, and you can do the same thing and then, oh, why don't you just watch this another uh, music video and you, you get the idea. It's, it's pretty cool. And you can just set up a queue with all of that and just basically have this crazy, awesome media playing wonderfulness. So that's that's how it works with YouTube. YouTube is probably one of the cooler ways to do it. Now, this isn't really anything too new because you could do uh, pretty much the same thing with the YouTube app that was on the PS3. I mean, my brother uses it all the time when he's watching music videos and whatnot. And uh, Netflix is uh, allows you to control it, similar to how we saw the Play Movies app. And that's pretty much all there is to uh, the Android 
the whole Android world. So whether it's your smartphone or tablet, this is pretty much the extent of what you're going to do with that. So um, again, only Netflix, only the YouTube, and only Play Memories. That's only three apps. There's still you know Hulu Plus, HBO, HBO Go. Uh, some other video apps and stuff that don't, you know, don't currently support Google Cast right now. <laughs> but there are other ways. So, with the Android device or with your computer, you can also use Google Cast, and that's using uh, the, ex the Chrome extension, which is a little extension that you install, which I showed you guys last time, I believe. And uh, by pressing that there, you could take everything from your tab and mirror it but I guess I guess the more official way without even in installing the extension we can just jump straight to YouTube and we can uh, check out this video here so you can see here it's playing on my computer as normal and again just like the Android app because YouTube is one of the sites that support Google Cast there's only a few of them right now that do that again Netflix YouTube and hopefully we'll see this uh, open up to uh, I mean all these other video sites like uh, Daily Motion or Live Leaks hopefully all these other sites will do this or support uh, Chromecast in the near future because that would be awesome uh, and that just basically would allow you know the dongle to handle all the 1080p streaming while your little MacBook Air like mine is you know not overheating and trying to stream an HD video and trying to mirror it onto the television that just you know creates a lot of heat and a lot of strain on the CPU so here there's a little Chrome uh, Chromecast button there in the corner now if I click clever Chromecast to the living room it's gonna do it the exact same way as it did it on the Android device super easy functional and awesome and then from there it is playing on the television folks Now the real benefit is that I could actually still, you know, go to facebook.com. I can do a bunch of other things while it, the video is playing in full screen, full 1080p HD, and it's not creating any extra wear on my computer whatsoever. That is where it's awesome. Don't have to interrupt, don't have to, you know, interrupt the show, anybody's movie, anybody's video, anything that's playing. So, now the other way of using Chromecast is by uh, mirroring a specific tab. So like if I had this tab open right now, I'm on Facebook, I can mirror this tab onto my television, uh, similar to the way AirPlay mirroring works on the Apple TV and with uh, Macs and all that. And that's pretty much the whole reason why I bought my Apple TV to begin with. So uh, if I click the little extension here, boom, cast this tab, I'm gonna cast this tab. And now my Facebook and everything is up on the television. So the benefit in this is that you can go to sites that don't have Chromecast, or aren't really Chromecast supported, like NBC.com. Uh, let's go there. Uh, we can watch, you know, all the videos that are on here. You can go to Hulu Plus. You can do, you know, whatever you would like to do. Uh, let me go ahead and click this. It's probably, I have an ad blocker, so it's gonna penalize me. Give me a, don't penalize me. Yeah, there it goes. 60 seconds, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, what else do we got? Let's go to uh, E-Bombs. <laughs> I don't know why I like this site, but I do. Little Kid Learns How to Paintball. Let's go with, let's just see what this video is. Okay, so this is a video that I'm playing on my computer. I actually don't have this tab Chromecasted. I forgot that I had the Facebook Chromecasted. So I'm gonna have to Chromecast this tab right here. And this tab is playing on my television, as you can see. So, if uh, I guess if a, if a video isn't or a, a video site isn't supported by Chromecast, then it's it really doesn't matter too much because you know you could play the video in little screen mode, but of course it's going to play in little screen mode there. Um, and while that tab's open, let me just go ahead and click play. This is actually an embedded YouTube video, which is kind of silly. I love you back. Uh, oh man. Can we just? Okay, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> that's going, and if I want to go to a different tab and play it, you can see it's still playing the video. The problem with this is that when you're using tab mirroring, is that if you go to full screen mode like this, your computer is rendered completely useless while you're 
you're mirroring it to the television. So it's not ideal, basically. Essentially, that's, that's basically what it comes down to is it's, that's not the ideal way to get the video onto your television. That's not what Chromecast is really about. Ideally, everyone would just, all these video sites would support it in the future and then you would just beam it and offload it onto the uh, <laughs> on Chromecast. So you can see there, there it goes. Now, another cool way is a lot of people were asking is how you can, you know, if it's possible to get locally stored videos like from your computer, maybe like a home video that you recorded, uh, maybe something not a video that you recorded, uh, get that onto Chromecast and up on your television. And that is possible. Let me show you guys how that works. If I actually just create a new tab here, uh, I create a new tab on my uh, computer. Let me just see if we can't get it to focus on that. And if I get and drag a video file, let's do one that's, in, uh, what have I done lately? I have an old video there I'm not going to do. Uh, here's a video of when I went to San Francisco just to pick up the Chromecast a couple days ago. So you drag and drop it onto the Chrome web browser and it begins playing on your, well, not yet. <laughs> it's playing in your Chrome web browser, but remember any tab that you have, you can Chromecast it or just, you know, mirror it onto Chromecast. So let's go ahead and click that. Let's click living room and voila. You have a video that is locally stored on your computer playing on your television. Now, while that might seem pretty awesome, let me go ahead and click play. Uh, it's pretty neat because I can still, on my computer, go to a different tab. I can, you know, still web browse while that's playing, which is pretty neat. But uh, you can see the uh, frame rates are dropping. Things are kind of ch chugging a little bit sometimes, I guess, depending on how many people are using your, your, your Wi-Fi, your wireless router. Uh, you probably have to have a pretty good wireless router um, to keep everything running nice and smooth. Uh, the only problem with this is and why, again, this isn't really ideal to you know stream your videos onto your television is because you only stream a tab in 720p and it's one of the options that is in Chromecast. So if I go to our Google Cast, if I go to the options for Google Cast extension, you can see here uh, there's a couple different options, but one of them is tab projection quality. And right now I have it on extreme 720p high bit rate. Uh, there's also just a regular high 720, and then you can also stream in 420 if, or 480p if you really, really want to. And of course, again, that depends on the type of wireless router you have, if it's beefy enough, if it's dual band, if it has enough you know, bandwidth to support something like Extreme 20. So I'm, I'm doing okay with Extreme 20, but I'm noticing you know, some frame rates drop in. If I was streaming a 1080p, a locally stored video that I have on my computer that was 1080p, uh, even though it's trying to compress it into 720p, uh, I don't know how, how well that would stream. So again, not ideal for your awesome Blu-ray collection that you downloaded legally uh, and trying to stream that onto your television. It probably probably isn't the best. So again, this is more about streaming than it is you know, mirroring. But again, so that's just uh, all there is to know about Google Chromecast. Uh, I, again, I showed you guys how to set it up. This is a full walkthrough and showing you everything that's about. I think for $35, it's an absolute steal. You have to be pretty much crazy to not want to get this. Uh, I've already got one. I'm going to get a couple more free. I'm going to get one for my parents, show them how it works. Hopefully, they watch the video and see exactly how that all goes down. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's everything you needed to know about Chromecast with Fanger.com. I'm Chris Chavez.